How are we doing everybody? Today we're going to talk about soil samples, how to take them, how to analyze them, and the benefits of them. But first we're going to touch on something really important that happened yesterday. Something really amazing that has to be talked about. Yesterday you may remember I posted a video on thatching and the importance of getting out there early in the spring, getting that thatch up, getting it vacked up, getting it off that lawn to get yourself set up for a real nice turf for the summertime. Well, something amazing happened after I posted that video. I got upwards of 10 views. 10 views of that one video within 24 hours. 24 hours. Now, I don't need a master's degree to tell me that that is something special. That's something important. And it tells me you guys want content. It tells me I'm onto something. So what we're gonna do throughout the summer is post a series of videos to kind of touch on the steps I go through to get my lawn looking green and staying green. And I hope you guys will join us along the adventure. Subscribe over here, like down there, throw a few comments on there about what you want to see. Be happy to help. Try to get some on, something on there for you. All right, stick around, we'll be right back. As I mentioned today, we're gonna to talk about soil samples. Really, this is a quick video on soil samples, how I take them, how I have them analyzed, and what I found to be beneficial with them. So really all you're gonna to need today is a little spade shovel and a Ziploc bag, and that's it. We're gonna take a walk out to the lawn, and typically what I like to do is choose four or five locations around the lawn. I don't just go with one location. I go across the lawn and try to get a, the most uh, wide sample as I can to make sure that the, the, the sample I'm giving is as representative of the entire lawn as possible. Now you may want to have a particular area in lawn, of your lawn that you're concerned with. Maybe it doesn't get enough sun. Maybe there's moss there. Maybe it's not getting good growth and you want to figure out what's wrong with that lawn. So what you can do there is just take a sample from that particular location, have that analyzed and send it in. That's fine. My lawn is pretty well uniform. So I like to try to treat it all as one for right now. Certainly if I have any issues that come up, I can treat those individually. But for right now, I'm gonna show you how I take about four or five samples, combine them all in one, one package and have it analyzed. So let's take a walk out to the lawn. And All right, we're here at the first spot right here. And what we're gonna do is just break the soil, break the surface enough right there just to get down below the turf, going down maybe an inch or two. And what we have down here is a real nice bit of soil. So all I'm gonna do is take a little bit from that one hole right there Get a good scoop. Yeah, just like that. That's some good looking stuff right there. Fill it right in the bag right there, and that's good for that one hole. Now again, if this is your problem area and you want to focus on getting this one area taken care of, either maybe take a few different samples from around this exact area, or fill up the bag a little more from this one spot. Totally up to you. But now you can put that turf right back down, tamp it down a little bit, and it's good, good as new. So now I'm gonna take a walk around, get a few more samples, and we'll go from there. And there you have it. Nice little bag of soil, ready to go, get tested. What I like to do is try to mix it around a little bit too to make sure it's equally dispersed. So the soil is well represented in the bag and that's it. Now, if like in my case, I, I'm not gonna go get this analyzed today. Nothing wrong with throwing this in the freezer, freezing it up so you don't have any kind of uh, moisture building up in there and, and affecting the pH level of the uh, soil. All right, so there you have it. You have your soil sample. You're ready to go. Now I bring my soil sample to Site 1. It's in Londonderry over by the airport, formerly John Deere. They charge about $25 to $30 to analyze the uh, sample. It takes about a week to get it back. And it'll basically tell you that the, the pH balance of your soil, what you need to add to it, what you need to take away from it to uh, make it as healthy as possible. My soil tends to be high in pH because we've got a lot of pine trees around here. So I put quite a bit of lime down to balance that out. But you know, once, twice a year, I try to get a soil test to see how I'm doing. Maybe I need to add more, more lime, less lime, whatnot. But that's about it. Have any questions, put them in the comments. But if not, subscribe over here, down there. Like some future videos. I got the next one coming out on fertilizer, how to apply fertilizer, when to apply it, and what it all means. Check that out. We'll see you next time.